Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and yes, it's time for another great tutorial. So if you guys are new to this channel and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe. And if you want to get the color alert resources, also the PSD file, it's available on my Patreon and the Patreon link is in the description list below. So there are a lot to cover, so without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So here we go and we're in Photoshop and first thing first let's create an artboard and for that press Ctrl and N. And again same thing I'm going for 4x5 resolution to 300 color mode to RGB B3 to 8 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create. So actually this tutorial was requested by one of my Patreon followers. Actually he sent me an email and asked me that if I could do a kind of replica design. And I'm here and uh, let's uh, do the very first thing. Let's drag and drop uh, the very first image right over here and press Ctrl and T. Let's make it a little smaller and then uh, let's keep it somewhere over here and let's import another image. So this one and let's keep it right over here. Let's keep it under this layer. Press Ctrl and T. Let's make it a little smaller. Let's keep it somewhere over here and let's do another thing. Let's drag and drop another image right over here and let's keep it all the way to the bottom. Control G. Let's flip it horizontal and let's make it a little smaller just like so. Here we go. And then let's drag and drop another image. So let's drag and drop this background image right over here and let's keep it all the way to the bottom. Press Ctrl and T. Let's move it somewhere over here. Let's make it a little bigger. Maybe more bigger just like so. And press Ctrl and U. And let's drop down the saturation to minus 100 and let's click on OK. And then let's drag and drop uh, this image right over here and uh, let's keep it maybe somewhere around here. Press Ctrl and T. Let's add a little rotation just like so and let's move it right around here. Let's make it a little smaller just like that. All right, and then uh, let's do some adjustment. Let's move it somewhere over here. Let's keep it right around here and let's move it somewhere around here. Okay, and then uh, let's add a text. So let's see. All right, 30 plus. Right click, let's convert it as a smart object and press Ctrl and T. And actually we can use vanishing point to create this effect, but for now, uh, I'm just going to use perspective. And actually I'm gonna make a different tutorial for that. And let's increase the perspective just like so. Yep, let's keep it like that. And let's keep this text under this image. Uh, let's create a new layer go to brush and then let's go for a general soft brush and then let's click on default let's go for a kind of darker color and let's add a shadows right around here press ctrl and t let's squeeze it and let's keep it right here and let's make a one more copy ctrl j ctrl t let's move it right so let's go on very top and let's add a uh, exposure and let's make it a little darker and go click on that layer max go to press and let's erase some of these parts
here we go and let's do a color adjustment for each layer so select this one go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and let's see let's go on basic tab let's drop down the highlights let's increase the shadows let's increase the clarity texture and then maybe let's drop down the voids too let's increase exposure a little bit and let's go to color mixer and from here let's drop down the saturation for orange and let's go to hue let's move more toward this side again for orange too let's move, move more toward this color and let's click and okay and let's do the same thing for this image go to filter let's apply the same camera raw filter let's apply previous setting i think this looks pretty good and i just click on ok and let's do the same thing for this one filter camera raw filter and then let's apply the previous setting and let's click on ok so this is what we got and let's add some separation in between so let's create a new layer go to brush and i'm going to use this brush so select this one let's go for a kind of lighter color and let's add some particles right over here maybe let's increase the opacity to 100 percent and let's change the color overlay to kind of darker color just to match these edges Yep, just like so and let's create a one more layer under this image and with a kind of white color let's add some particles right around here and let's create a one layer in between and let's see create a one layer right around here yep let's keep it like that and then let's go on very top let's create a new layer and again let's add some particles right around here just like so and let's go on very top let's go over here click on color lookup and from here click on load and i'm going to use my favorite lot that is mood lot so select this one and click on load so this is what we cut and then let's do a one more thing let's drag and drop this image on very top let's change the blending mode to screen Control t let's make it a little smaller let's add some rotation and I love this texture a lot this is my one of my favorite texture and let's do a final touch up so select this image let's drag and drop right over here control T let's add a rotation and then let's do a vertical flip uh, let's make it a little smaller just like so and then let's change the blending mode to screen and create a layer max go to press let's erase some of these parts from here let's change the opacity a little bit So yep, that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, be creative, be safe and take care. Bye-bye.